Hello everyone. In continuation to previous video, let's start with the C factor. See, in previous video, we discussed what is the C factor, what is its clinical significance, and how to calculate the C factor for class one, class two, MO or DO, and MOD cavity. In this video, we'll be calculating the C factor for class three and class four composite restorations. So now let's calculate the C factor for class three composite restoration. To calculate the C factor for class three composite restoration, let's take the example of class three cavity preparation of incisor tooth. As we know, the C factor is ratio of bonded to unbonded surfaces. So if we look at the bonded surfaces in class three preparation, this incisal surface will be the bonded to composite restoration. This cervical surface will be bonded to the composite restoration and this axial wall will be bonded to the composite restoration. So we have three bonded surfaces. Now if we look at the unbonded surfaces, see the surface of composite restoration which will be making this palatal surface that will be unbonded. So this is the one unbonded surface and the surface of composite restoration which will be forming opposite to this palatal wall that is the labial surface that will be the another unbonded surface and the composite restoration which will be forming this mesial surface that will be the third unbonded surface. So total we'll have three unbonded surfaces which make out the C factor as one. If you remember, this is similar to our MOD cavity, which also has C factor equal to one. Now let's calculate the C factor for class four composite restoration. See the class four cavity preparation involves the proximal surface of anterior teeth involving the incisal angle. So this involvement can be of two type. One you can see in this image, it is rectangular type and one is this triangular type. Now let's calculate the C factor for both of these types. If we look at the bonded surfaces of this rectangular shaped cavity, we'll have one axial wall and one cervical floor. So there are two bonded surfaces. And how many unbonded surfaces will be there? If we look at the unbonded surfaces, one will be the part of composite which will be forming this incisal edge. The another wall will be the part of the composite which will be forming the proximal wall. Then the another composite surface will be part of composite restoration which will be forming the labial surface. And the composite restoration which is forming the palatal wall will be the fourth unbonded surface. So in this type of cavity preparation, we'll be having four unbonded surfaces. And if we calculate the C factor, which is ratio of bonded to unbonded surfaces, it comes out to be 0.5 in rectangular shape class four cavity preparation. But what is the C factor if this class four lesion is triangular shape? Let's calculate. First of all, let's see the bonded surfaces. See, if you look at this preparation, only this surface will be bonded to the composite restoration. So we'll have only one bonded surface. But if we look at the unbonded surfaces, the part of the restoration forming inside the ledge, this mesial wall, this facial wall of the composite restoration, and one behind which is forming the palatal wall of the restoration will be unbonded. So in total, we'll be having four unbonded surfaces which make out the C factor for triangular shaped class four cavity as 0.25. As we know, C factor is important factor that can affect the developing stresses when the composite restorations, they show polymerization shrinkage on curing. From these two values, we can say that the triangular shaped class four cavity, since they have lower value of C factor, they'll be having lesser stresses from polymerization shrinkage as compared to class four cavity, which is having rectangular shape. I hope how to calculate the C factor for class three and class four composite restorations is clear to you. In next video, we'll be calculating the C factor for class five preparation, veneer and prepared root canal. 
थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग टेक केयर एंड गुड बाय